In the meantime, let's talk by-elections. Should we? Three by-elections. Um, the Tories lost two of those seats. Let's talk to the Conservative Party chair, uh, Greg Hands, who joins us now. Good morning to you. I, mean, I imagine a, a little bit of cold comfort that you've held on to Uxbridge and Ryslip, but, I mean, in those other two seats, absolutely massive swings against the Tory party. How do you deal with that? Uh, well, look, clearly we're disappointed at the results in Selby and Ainsty and Somerton and Froome, and we'll listen carefully uh, to the voters in those two constituencies. Uh, but you rightly point out that uh, Uxbridge uh, was really the standout result. Everybody said that we were going to lose there, but Steve Tuckwell MP, our fantastic uh, candidate there, has defied the odds. And that was uh, Labour were 25 to 1 on to win that seat. Yet we have won it a uh, campaign uh, really about one issue, but it has a wider thing here, and that is that Labour uh, are very bad at running things. They can't run London. Sadiq Khan has been a real failure as mayor of London. Uh, his ULES expansion has been botched. Uh, Keir Starmer, meanwhile, has been flip-flopping on it, saying in inner London that he is pro ULES. And then he arrives in outer London and appears to be backing his candidate who's expressing doubts about it. So it shows that Keir Starmer is somebody that you can't trust. If he says one thing in inner London, a different thing in outer London, uh, this is somebody who's flip-flopping and cannot be relied upon. So I think there's real issues here for Labour. There'll be real questions in Labour headquarters today about not gaining Uxbridge. Mr Hand, you say that Uxbridge is the standout result. You could argue that it's actually Selby and Ainsty, which is the standout result here. That was a 19,000 Tory majority. That has swung to an 11,000. Oh, sorry, that's the, that's the wrong one there. But Labour have shattered that huge Tory majority in Selby and Ainsty. 23.7%, sorry, is the correct figure, 23.7% swing to Labour there. You only need a 12% swing for Labour in the general election for them to have a majority in the House of Commons. So that is a momentous swing, the largest by-election win in post-war Britain. That is a terrifying prospect, isn't it, for the Tory party? Well, as I say, clearly we're disappointed by the result in Selby and Ainsty. We had a fantastic candidate in Clare Holmes. Uh, but what I would say is that result was driven largely by Conservative voters, previous Conservative voters, uh, staying at home. Uh, clearly, we've got work to do to win back uh, the trust and confidence. We don't deny that. Uh, Rishi Sunak has been in office now for nine months, working very hard against the five priorities of halving inflation, restoring growth, uh, reducing debt, cutting hospital waiting lists and stopping the boats. That is still work in progress. Uh, we'll be fighting hard to regain uh, that uh, constituency next year. But I also point out that in Uxbridge, there's real lessons there. There'll be real uh, questions being asked in Labour headquarters. They were 25 to 1 on to win that seat, but have failed to win it. And that is a sign of the fact people don't have confidence of Labour in power. Last time around, Labour left us with no money left. Labour in London is not capable of running the city well. Londoners, I'm an, a London MP myself, Londoners see uh, that Labour is not good at running things and they see that Keir Starmer is changing his views all the time depending on the audience that he has in front of him. In inner London, he's pro ULES. Put him in outer London, he's suddenly expressing his doubts about and, ULES. And you've, that I is mean, not something me, you want you've, to you've, have as running mean, the country as Prime Minister. You, you have made that point, but the problem is you, you need a government and some would say a Prime Minister who can win you an election, which is the argument that was made about Boris Johnson, of course. And the problem is that you've, 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 with Rishi Sunak, you've lost two seats, and in fact, it would seem Sadiq Khan has won you Uxbridge and Ryslip rather than Rishi Sunak, who wasn't even mentioned in any of the campaign literature. I mean, that's a, you've really got to address that, haven't you? Well, uh, that's why we're, uh, the Prime Minister's working hard against the five priorities 
Those are the people's priorities. That is work in progress. We've had some good news this week. Uh, first of all, the headline rate of inflation coming down from 8.7 uh, to 7.9 percent. We passed the illegal migration bill, uh, which allows us to take tougher action on the boat. So that is all uh, work in progress. But I do say there are real questions for Labour in failing to gain Uxbridge. It's a sign that people don't have confidence in Labour as a party of government and don't have confidence in Sir Keir Starmer's view. This is somebody who changes his view on what uh, on to, to suit him, to get him through that day. He says one thing in inner London, a different thing in outer London. Greg Hands, good to talk to you this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Appreciate that. Thank